we're going to unbox the brand new Anycubic Cobra S1. Okay, so we have the brand new Anycubic Cobra S1. Welcome to the Fab Lab. My name is David Gewertz, and you are watching the latest episode of Advanced Geekery. I'm trying an experiment this time. I have this neck camera as well as the rest of the cameras here to film this whole process. I kind of feel like I'm introducing a band. We have Nigel up there on the tower, and we have Ringo down here in the iPad 10th generation. And we have another iPad over there. And we have George or Edward or William over there on the gimbal watching the whole process. And of course, my iPad Pro, which is helping me keep track of what you're seeing so I can see that you're seeing what you're seeing. I know it seems a little weird, but this is a great way for me to try to get you inside this unboxing in a way that doesn't require my having a camera person following me around. So we're going to unbox this thing. Let's just start tearing it apart. This program is sponsored in part by the Advanced Geekery Weekly Newsletter. Want exclusive access to my latest ZDNet articles, behind-the-scenes updates on my projects, and must-watch YouTube videos curated just for you? How about fascinating reads from around the web and a chance to have your own project spotlighted? It's all in the newsletter. And the best part? Subscribing is absolutely free. Don't wait. Click the link below to get your weekly issue and make it awesome. So I'm going to try doing a process where I just sort of tear the sides of this thing down. Now, I had a reader comment from the last time I did this telling me that this is a very bad idea because if I wanted to return the device, I would no longer have a box. And I think that reader was correct. But I don't expect to return this device because it's a review item. Hello. It's a review item. And it's more important for me to get it out of here to show you than it is for me to worry about a potential someday return of this thing, which I doubt is going to happen. What's going to happen instead is when the whole review process is complete and it's time to retire the machine from editorial, it will go to a local makerspace. And that is the kind of win where everybody wins. All right, let's get this last piece of cardboard off. This piece is a little tough because I really don't want to jab my workbench if I can help it. Yeah, do it from this side. All right, got some cardboard fluff. Tossing the can over here. All right, and you should be able to see that from the side as well as from the air cam. So let's grab another piece of this thing. Break it down. See if my Piece of the box removed. It's kind of an interesting way to go. And kind of start seeing the thing take form over here. Let's grab this one. Take it down. And rotate this. Okay, something just fell over. All right, I'm gonna take this piece of cardboard off next. Let's see what fell off. Well, 
Well, you saw what fell off. I'm guessing, I honestly don't know. Something fell off. Well, we'll look around the fab lab later. In the meantime, let's just get these out of the way. Oh, I know it fell off. Ugh. Careful, careful. There we go. This thing fell off. Okay. Now we have more. One, two, three, four. User manual. Something else that just blew out at me. Uh, okay, so these, so you can see them on the little cam. There you go. Allen wrenches. Allen wrenches. Okay. Which presumably we'll need for the rest of the unboxing. So let's put this over here. And then the interesting part of this is getting this off of the cardboard. Let's just do a little sliding action. One, two. Move the whole thing a little bit. We've got some table space. It's about there. Cardboard is not done. Let's just set the cardboard off the edge like that. Okay. Now, we want to get it out of the styrofoam. And probably the smartest route for this is just tipping the whole thing over and tipping it back. Hmm. Bring it to about here. See if it'll tip. It's one heavy device. Okay. Tipping it slowly. Gently. There we go. Got my finger under there. Okay. Let's see what we do with getting this off of here. Alright. I've got most of it. I'm going to put my finger under there because I don't want the unit to come crashing down. Cardboard gone. There we go. And let's see if my chesty thing can show you what the bottom looks like. There's the bottom. There's the bottom. Okay. Let's bring it back up. Uh, I'll let it carefully down. And now it's been sitting on my finger, which is not comfortable. Okay. All right. Not a lot to grip on to flip it back up. All right, so I am just gonna kind of hug this thing. Yeah, oh boy. Uh, there we go. Like that, that's it. All right. around this way and there's the front the panel is on top the door is here looks like the other things in there which gonna be interesting to get out they sent the manual let's take a look and see if the manual says how to open it product overview Okay, so the Ace Pro comes out through the top and then needs to be unlocked. 
So I just flipped up the screen, which is kind of cool. And this top is plastic, which I'm very grateful for. The glass tops freak me out a lot. And here is You can see it from the top up here from our overhead camera. That's the Ace Pro. I guess I'm just going to try to lift it this way. There's zero lever again the other way. Okay, let's look at the instructions again. Ah, okay. I'm going to take out these screws first before it will lift. So let's grab our little hex wrenches. as far as it's going to come. Let's try the next one. I can't tell if you're seeing this on my chest camera or not, but it's worth a try. And that also appears to be, let's give this a little bit more run. That one's out, definitely. That one is sitting there, but sort of out. Let's see if it'll lift now. Yeah, okay. So the screw is far enough out. Let's move these things out of the way. Put them safely over here for now. What is that? Okay, let's uh, move my iPad over here for a second so I have a space to put that thing. All right. Let's drop that there. All right. Then we have some stuff back here. Power, more power, some cables, activated carbon for the filter, all that sort of stuff. We'll put that over there. Turns out, I don't know if you can see this, move the iPad around so I can see whether or not you can see it. Now let's move this this way a little bit. Yeah, you should be able to see, can you see up there? Not really, okay, so this is, this just thing, I'm not sure it's going to help us much, but let's just take this off for a sec. There is tight wrap around the extruder, and then this unit here has to be unscrewed. There's a bunch of arrows buried in there. So let's reattach this. Hopefully, there we go. Let's get the cardboard out from around the extruder. Let's huh, move the extruder slightly so we can get uh, 
it's going through in a way that does not allow it to pull. Basically, it's tie wrapped in here. So I can't pull it all the way around. So I have to kind of, I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna get it out of there. There we go, let's try this. Yeah, that's it. Okay, it's out. All right. Close this for a sec. All right, next up is the styrofoam. For those of you who watched the bamboo unboxing, this is nearly identical in its packing and structure. And it also has screws way back there and there, as well as here and here. So let's find this guy and let's do our best to get those out. It's actually painful. These things are in way, way too tight for basically something that does spacing. Way, way too tight. Way, way too inconvenient. Yep, okay. That is the way to do that. So bit, power screwdriver, magnet. this thing out is a not inconsiderable victory. And underneath, there's the build plate. Nice, removable build plate. Yay. All right. Okay, well. I'm going with the assumption that this thing has been unboxed. I'll put the nice plastic cover back on. All right. So I'm going with the assumption that this thing has been fully unboxed. And my next step is to set it up. And I'm not entirely looking forward to that because... This also has four PTFE tubes going into the uh, multi-filament feeder, and that was not fun last time. But the fact is, that's the next step, and that will be a separate video. So, for Advanced Geekery, my name is David Gowertz. Go out there and unbox something awesome.